This is ABC 15 Arizona at 10. You have to be committed to it and you have to acknowledge that it's real. Only on ABC 15, a candid conversation with a nurse on a Valley COVID ICU floor. Day in, day out, she sees the real life struggles and the heartache. But also the hope and the breakthroughs. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez joining us live outside Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix. And Nicole, she has a call to action. Yeah, and as, as an ICU nurse, she sees the worst of the worst, and her role is crucial. She tells me leaders here at Banner University are practically having to beg nurses to work as many shifts as possible. Meanwhile, ventilators are dwindling, and just yesterday, another floor in this hospital dedicated to house COVID-19 ICU patients. What's happening right now is not sustainable. Inside Banner University. We can't take a whole lot more than what we're already doing. Mandy Osborne is trying to stay strong. It's physically hard, it's emotionally hard. But she says things are getting worse every day. It weighs heavier on me because this is home. Osborne's been an ICU nurse here for 13 years, but in April, she packed up and flew to New York, leaving her family behind for seven weeks to help this overwhelmed Brooklyn hospital. I felt like I was in a, like in a war zone or like in a third world, you know, some kind of improvised field hospital setup. It's crazy. She's been forced to stand by as dozens take their last breath, all while she and other nurses struggle to keep up and cope. It weighs heavy on me. I know my colleagues have definitely expressed frustration and sadness and grief and anxiety, um, a lot of anxiety because we don't know when this is going to end. We don't know when it's going to get better. It won't end without change. So the outspoken ICU nurse decided to step up. This is our reality for the indefinite foreseeable future. Using social media to share what it's really like. And this is your life. For 13 hours. She wants to make a difference, be a warrior for change, and just help save people. I just feel like there's so much misinformation being touted as facts. If I can just convince one person to, to somehow do something that keeps them from getting sick, that's 10 other people who don't get sick. And then that's 100 other people from those, those 10 people who don't get sick. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.